Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And we got Simone. I am cutting up on Nene Leaks. Welcome, family. Come on in the house. Take several seats. Get on the sofa. Get in your favorite chair. Get on the floor. Just come on in that dough, girls and boys. Come on in. Because we got some hot tea. We got some hot tea to talk about, y'all. Y'all know Bryson, her eldest son that she had by somebody else that she had Greg Leaks adopt, okay? Bryson child y'all remember when he was like kind of strung out on the ooey and some other stuff sis but that's all allegedly but found himself up in his girlfriend house looking like that who does that got his hand in his pants touching is he getting trying to get his knocks ah, trying to knock his rocks off or uh, I don't know what he doing I don't know what he doing but it was embarrassing and it would have been embarrassing to me if that was my child too honey Woo, but Simone is at it again, honey. She is coming out. Let Nene have it from left to right to front to back. And then in a circle, honey. Two snaps in a circle. Woo! <laughs> That's the girl that Nene wasn't going to pay attention to on social media. She didn't. She uh, allegedly told the girl she would never work in... Uh, Never work in the field of the entertainment industry because she has so many hot contacts. And I don't know what Nene was doing to that child. But, uh, you know, technically she was a child to Nene. But Simone was putting her on blast. Simone back in, I think about four or five years ago, really. Simone was uh, having interviews with uh, big time uh, YouTube bloggers. And she was getting paid for a story. Yes, she was. And I guess if she was put in that, if anyone was put in that predicament where they had to listen to Nene and just because you weren't the right girl for him or you weren't coming from an upper class type of setting, when Nene knows she was at the bottom as well. She was just an everyday middle class uh, or maybe not, maybe a poor class. I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, but she used to try to hang around. A lot of upscale people. I know she had her own boutique here in Atlanta. I forgot what it was called, but it went belly up, of course. And we do know her as being a stripper. She admits to it. But child, yes, yes, yes. When Nene first got up on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, she was making money. And she had got the big head. And then she started trying to tell, I guess, her boys who they need to date and why they need to date them. Okay? But yeah, that boy looked like Br uh, Bryson. Yes, he do. He looked just like Bryson. But Nene called herself saying that ain't her grandchild. She wanted DNA tests and all this kind of stuff. And all the child that she uh grandchild she only uh been around and taking pictures with and just that and third was from another girl and she had a little girl and nene was like trying to still keep her out of the public eye but she did take <coughs> excuse me a couple of uh pictures with her that she was letting be shown on um on the social media realm or TV. And it was done by I think People's Magazine. But I'm pretty sure she got paid for that too. And she probably gave Bryson. And so uh, the girl that had the little girl. Some money or some little shine time. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. But Nene I really feel that. He was just a black sheep of the family. He couldn't do nothing right. He couldn't please Nene in any kind of way. So he just kept getting in a lot of trouble. Even Greg couldn't handle him. But Simone looked like she can. Cause he still, if he's he still chasing after Simone after all these years. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Nene, you should be telling that to yourself, baby girl. You should be telling that to yourself. And quiet as it's kept, as long as I'm, as I'm going to speak it out, you need to slow down on social media posting that man's, that woman's husband, okay? 
You need to uh, slow down, baby, before you find yourself not coming off a hundred grand, but she may be want to sue you for some millions, okay? And all the only reason why I think she's like at that lower level, as like staying in the thousands, is probably because. It is. A, it would be a civil lawsuit. I'm thinking, and uh, you can't, you can't pay, but a certain amount. So it has a cap on it. So it's nine times out of ten, she getting what she can get. The lady that's suing uh, Nene Leaks for being around and uh, philandering around with her husband. Okay, which I'm still uh, kind of crazy with that because I don't know why they letting this man Shaba scam a man Shaba. But that the scammer man, shabba shabba shabba. Yes, why they ain't attacking his behind? She need to be suing him and Nene at the same damn time consecutively. Okay, that's who the the uh, wife should be suing both of them, not just one of them. And why they trying to let him get off scot free? I don't understand. Even if Nene had to pay it, I ain't paying it. I'm like you pay your own wife. Okay, she your wife, she ain't mine. You know what I'm saying? But hey. Nene just see so many zeros behind her name right now. She don't care. But like they say, when the dust settles, the, cl the clouds get fewer, you start seeing something. You're going to act a, a fool when your, that 100000 come out your account. And then some more, because I heard it was up to, or uh, the, this, wait a minute, which they said 100000 plus. I gotta read it again, but I, I don't think it was just a hundred thousand. I think it was like a hundred grand, and uh, up to a hundred grand, and then some, something like that. But even if it was a dollar, I would still be mad. Okay, I would still be mad. Like, uh, uh. If I waste my dollar, I want to know what I'm wasting it on. And we were spending time because you were saying, meaning, uh, Shaba man, he probably was telling Nene a story, and he's uh damn right, show been telling the female, his wife, some stories, cause she coming out letting us know. But getting back off of that, we're going to get back on some more. And those were supposed to be Nene's two grandkids. But she really only claimed the girl at one time. Because it was by somebody else, I guess. Nene liked it better because she didn't want to be seen on TV. And she didn't want to be bothered with the uh, Hollywood lifestyle. So Nene liked it that she had no competition. But Simone, you give her a show. A show where she dating still Nene Lisa's uh, son Bryson. Girl, everybody be tuning in. And I'll be right there with them. <laughs> Trying to put my spin on the recaps, okay? That I will be having over here at the house, all right? But yeah, Bryson, he just, he got in trouble. He was stealing shit. He was, um... Just being a bum like he is right there. And they were tanning Nene up in the social media world. She was just too hot. Uh, too, what do you call it? Two pissy pots in a, in a walk. <laughs> I'm just making up shit now over here, y'all. But yeah, he was doing, he was stealing. And he was, um, he was acting like he was a homeless bum. Is really what it was. So, right up this uh, picture show. Where he was laying on that girl's couch and she was putting him on blast, putting all the pictures on social media, trying to get back at Nene and things of that nature. Nene went about this this guy a house, her son a house child. Now I hear he ain't got the house no more, but I don't think that's true because major networks would have picked that up. Because you know we got some paparazzi people in Atlanta and they be scoping out several celebrities' children as well as the celebrities themselves. Now, then we already had that man that you was fooling around in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. You remember that one? Mm-hmm. That man. Right there. The streets went crazy. The YouTube streets in Atlanta went crazy. And globally. But you was fooling around on Greg before he even got sick with cancer. Now, you got Mr. Shabba Man. Okay? Mr. Shabba Scammer. Mr. Shabba Man. Scammer, scammer. Yes. And his wife is suing you for 100000 plus. Now, with Greg, he was a solid guy. But even he was married. And he left his wife for you. So, it's like you twice the home wrecker. Okay? Twice the home wrecker. You can't keep your legs closed to married men. You, from what um 
what's her name? Katrina, I think her name was Katrina or Keisha Leaks. She been out there talking about you too in Atlanta streets. Saying how you took her dad from her mom. Now, I can see that being somewhat true. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes when you let your guard down and you be so mad with your spouse, whether it be the female cheating or the male cheating, they feel like they have to go out for some air because you're making them drown by being around you. And things do happen Intent intently. Maybe it wasn't. But then y'all got fun of each other because he kept coming to the strip club. You know what I'm saying, Nene? And you kept making it easy for him. But I don't see how... You, he could go and take care of your child, but he didn't want to take care of his children with his first wife. So, Greg Leakes, you know, he was a, a Papa was a Rolling Stone, too. But then after you, I guess he didn't have no more energy. And he just said, I'll just stay with Nene. <laughs> I'll just stay with Nene. But, like I said, men always want to confess when they don't have nothing else. Or they can't roam the streets like they used to. Then they want to settle down. So, that's probably what was wrong with Greg, you know. He was getting old, and the one that he was with, he fell out of love with her, I guess, and went to Nene. But, honey, Nene, don't make drama. Don't make a drama of your drama. You sure all this dramatizing everybody out here. You sure all this. And with that lady, she's saying, you have traumatized her, honey. You have emotionally, physically, socially destroyed her. Because you out here tracing around with her hubby. Okay? And the hood be over the line to her just so he can be with you and your circle of friends. But see, now you got Simone on your ass again. <laughs> I don't know if somebody done told her they could give her a show or whatnot. Her and Bryce a show. And he won't, she won't Bryce to get up off his behind and take that deal. Get that reality show. And then they can have some money. And then they can be on Easy Street. Just like you trying to be on Easy Street. Yes, honey, but yeah, I mean, your, your skeletons have fallen out the closet, child. Everybody coming after you. Everybody, and then some. Your past people are coming back to hunt you, honey. But I thought Simone had left it alone. But she done came back out here, y'all. She done came back out here and got on Nene's last nerve. And Nene trying to not pay her no attention. But I know she out there. With her, maybe friends we don't know are not in the business. Or she might be talking to Porsche over there like, Girl, this woman coming out here talking about I'm fooling with her husband. I ain't doing nothing. He coming to me. He he trying to court me. That's what she probably saying. And he lying to both of y'all. He lying to his wife that he's still married to. And he lying to you, Nene. Just going to see how far he can get with you. And you too dumb to see it because you in love. You in love. Oh, but anyway. We'll go in and uh, read what, um, what Simone had put out on Instagram today. Uh, she said, so since my name has been tagged and I'm getting all of these DMs, let me take y'all back for a minute and address the situation at hand. Y'all remember where it all began right back in 2018. Okay, so it's pretty funny. However, I said what happened has surfaced. How do you blacklist me and your family telling me you'll make sure I never work? Where happened? Hold on. I'll never work with anyone in TV. But now you're crying that the industry is blacklisted you. Keep it a book. You're a terrible friend and person to work with. Hell, terrible period. Ter terrible person, period. You lost all of your good friends. Weren't you the same one saying, I cash Trump checks, bitch? Well, I'm the same one that said, you better humble yourself because everything you have can be taken away. Then she coughs. Cough, okay. Here we are. Your husband is gone that you took from his wife and kids. Your grandkids. Wait a minute. Oh, no, your oldest son is a junkie. 
You don't do anything for your grandkids. You got fired from Real Housewives of Atlanta. You have no real friends. You tried to sell your house, but but wait a minute. Tried to sell your house for four million, so you'll make a profit. However, you were going to lose that house, so you sell it for five five hundred and seventy five k profit minus what you still owed that was behind. And the deeper shit going on. I won't even say right now, but the karma is worth some. And she got some cookies and milk like she's just sitting there eating up this whole scenario that Nene has found herself in. And she treating herself to some milk and cookies while Nene entertained her. <laughs> That's cute enough. Okay, then she said, better hope that lounge works out because those boutiques were a flop and your TV career is over. I don't know how many people respect you or call you the queen. They are delusional. Burger King may be best for you too. Okay, that's all. Carry on. Um, and I, I'll keep your legs. Oh, and keep your legs closed to married men. <laughs> and it ain't even, uh, what do you call it? April Fool's Day. We don't pass April. So this girl is serious. She wants to bury Nene now. But get humiliating her. She wants to bury her. And she's saying she got some moti to drop. And we like spill it honey. Spill it. We listening. We listening. But evidently she don't want to. Um, she don't want to tell us her sources right now. But I'm sure if it all said and done. If she get a spin off. And Bryson is right there with her. Oh Lord, <laughs> the roof finna come out the house now, because he will probably tell it all. Cause we can't really understand if. Well, I tend to think Bryson, which is her oldest son, from another marriage or another relationship. I personally believe he was treated like the black sheep of the family, because even he couldn't stay at Nene's house anymore when Greg was there. And don't get me wrong, I don't think Greg had anything far as to why he left. He probably just wanted to be on his own. And Nene was, you know, dogging him out every chance she got. Because even when she was filming with him, um, she was being a little bit cruel to him. So, I can see him wanting to not be around her because... In fact, he was like the, you know, the black sheep. Because we didn't really see him too much once um, they got married again. And Bryson um, had a, a crutch. I guess he had broke his leg or broke his ankle or something. And she walked uh, Nene down the aisle trying to meet Greg at the altar as well as uh, Brent. But, you know, I didn't really see any pictures after Brent got graduated from high school. I didn't see, you know, Bryson there. So it's just almost like, what happened to Bryson? After she bought him that house? Because that girl had me humiliated. <laughs> Simone had humiliated Nene so bad, Lord. She had, you know, she had put the boy picture where he had his hand in his uh, jockey shorts. And he would just sleep and probably snore and all that. And she was just taking pictures of Nene's son and putting them on the internet, child. Like, this is what your son do at my house every single day. And he need a job. He need to pay some bills. He need to take care of his son. And Nene wasn't paying that child no mind on TV. Now, I don't know what she was doing off air. She probably was cussing Bryson out about even fooling with that girl. And, you know, trying to make her look stupid and stuff. So, like I said, that prompted Nene to go and purchase a house for Bryson. So, she at least know he has a roof over his head. And I'm pretty sure she's making sure he got food in his mouth and clothes on his back. But... You know, sometimes you just have that one child you have to, like, constantly, you know, take care of because they, they just don't get it. 
And it could not be nothing really wrong with them mentally. You know what I'm saying? It's just they just lazy as hell. Or they want, you know, however you treated them, they want you to treat them the same. Or they're going to get a woman to try to treat them how they want to be treated, how you used to treat them. And that's with the product you get. A man like that, lazy as hell. And, you know, if it is some truth that he was feeling, uh, fooling around and, and taking illicit drugs and all that stuff, you know, we have to look at Simone. I said, Simone, why did you stay in that situation with Bryson? You knew he was no good. You knew he wasn't going to be by nothing, at least not now and with you. So why did you take the leap to uh, still mess with him? Were you trying to get on the show? Were you trying to, you know, milk off Nene, uh reputation? Because <laughs> you got to look at both sides, okay? And then you try to make your decision on who you want to go with. And I can say I ain't going with neither one of them because they both messy. Messy as hell. You know, but they, they make some good points. They make me sit down on the bench and just watch them. Like, okay, y'all playing tennis now? And they just volleying from one to the other, one to the other. When one of them get tired, they start to try to, you know, work the other one over a little bit more. And I just be sitting there drinking my Sprite. <laughs> Drinking my Sprite in my popcorn and just going from left to right with my neck. Left to right. <laughs> left to right. Because both of them be doing addition. And the dirt slanging. Ooh, the mud slanging between them too. Woo-wee. All righty then. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Got to have more. Uh, yeah. Because Nene going to run herself right on in the ground. Charlie will run herself right on in the ground. And he going to take all her money. I'm just saying. Because right now she thinks she in love. She thinks she got that man wrapped around her finger. But she knows that man. Some ain't right with that man. Because she said, you know, he, he be bossy. He too bossy. And honey, it ain't going to be both of y'all getting y'all away. It's going to be one person. And the other person following. And to me, he seemed like he's going to be whipping you into shape, Nene. Because this man sitting up here. Got a whole wife and a whole family. That he's uh, not paying attention to when he's with you. And then when you with them, Nene Clown trying to find you. What you doing, where you at, when you coming back. <laughs> and you, both of you women don't understand that this man is reigning over both of y'all. And y'all should come together and get his little behinds, which y'all should do. And go on into the sunset with another man for each one of you. All right. But that's all I got of the story, guys. <clears throat> like and share my videos. You know, that really helps me a lot. And if you definitely want me to cover stories, remember, email me at DebChanel48World at Yahoo.com. All right? DebChanel48World at Yahoo.com. Unless you put it down in the comments. Because y'all know I'll be down there with y'all. Um, and let me know what story you don't heard about and you want me to research a little or you want me to just bring it on the tube for all of us to have a conversation about. That's how it go. That's how it's been going. All right. <laughs> well, y'all be uh, blessed and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.